Welcome to the London Youth Express. I am Renata Leufen and today we want to talk about what does it mean to set our children, our young people free. If we look at our society we realize that most adults are bound up in something and uh, I made a song called uh, In Circles, Walking Around in Circles and uh, this song describes what is happening. Many adult people walk around in circles and face the same issues the same problems again and again. It could for example be um, a CEO or an MD or perhaps the owner of a shop who has been married for five or six times and uh, the marriages never last. What many social workers and uh, psychologists and uh, doctors see happening is that we have parents who are facing a particular challenge. This could for example be that the father and the mother suffer from chronic depression. Maybe also from other issues uh, like uh, they are anemic uh, or whatever. Now, what happens very often is that these parents produce children who are also depressed and who also have a hard life and face the same issues that they uh, have been uh, facing and uh, not been overcoming. What we want to do here at the London Youth Express and also at other organizations like for example TEDx Teen is to liberate our young generation, to set our children free, free from every limitation, free from the belief that there is a box to set them free from having a negative self-image, to set them free from depression and from the feeling and perhaps even experience that their life is useless. We want to create a young generation that is happy, that is productive, that feels love even if not everyone in the environment does show them love. A young generation that understands the emotional problems and prisons that their parents have been living with. A young generation that is determined to overcome what has defeated their parents. A young generation that cannot be stopped whose development and success in life cannot be obstructed and shortcut by what they have inherited from their own parents and families and from our society. We want to see happy children on our streets. We want to see young people who believe in their purpose and mission in life. We want to see young people who are not afraid of problems, who are not afraid of challenges, young people who say okay there are problems but we focus on the solutions and we believe that we shall overcome, that we shall be a victorious generation, that our children will never experience all the mess and struggles and uh, 
hardships that our parents and perhaps we ourselves initially went through as well. To set our children free means to set our children free to live a good life, a productive life, to set them free to dream, to set them free to believe in themselves, to set them free to expect to have a good future, to set them free to believe that they can achieve and create anything that is reasonable, anything that they work for and that they can transform their own lives and the lives of their parents and of their families and of the societies in which they live. Setting our children free means to empower our children, the young generation, to go new ways. We have grown up, especially if you are as old as I am, and I'm 55 now, with a lot of rules and regulations, with a lot of hypocrisy and uh, a lot of deception and a lot of lies and a false morality and we have to change this we have to become an honest society where we acknowledge the problems that we have and where we are determined to solve those problems and to give our young people the chance to make a significant contribution and a significant difference to our current world. To set our young people free means to inspire them, to inspire them to be who they really are. And this could be that some children say, okay, we feel we want to be actors. Some other children may say, okay, we feel we would love to be scientists. Some other children may say, oh, we feel that we really enjoy teaching other, other children and other people. It's becoming a happy, a joyful society. It's having people on this planet who enjoy who they are, who enjoy their lives, who enjoy their present and their future, and who raise new generations who are happy, fulfilled, purposeful, productive and positive as well. To set our children free should eventually lead to very significant societal changes and uh, improvements like crime rates will go down, alcoholism will go down, drug addiction will go down, depression will go down, hatred will go down. If we think on um, whether terrorists could actually prosper in an environment where the children are free, where children have grown up in love and uh, where children do love and where children respect life, honor life, respect other people then the conclusion that we have to draw is if we have a liberated youth then this is the best block to stop terrorism eventually because happy children children who 
have a positive attitude towards other people themselves, society and life will find no interest in going around and killing other people and in destroying human lives. To set our children free is the biggest social experiment and uh, project that has ever been undertaken on this planet as far as children and families are concerned. We got to liberate and heal and empower our children and at the same time we got to provide for the healing, for the liberation and um, for the growth and freedom of their parents as well. And what could be more beautiful than a society where the children are healing, where the children are growing, where the children are developing, where the children are full of love, where the children achieve and maximize their potential and where at the same time the parents are healing as well where at the same time the parents are finding relief from their problems and uh, from unhappy situations and from conflicts they are involved with I believe that setting our children free is the right thing to do and that it will transform, bless and benefit and enrich society and um, every one of us. So let us set the children free today.